<laughs> oh boy, hell is hot, ain't it? But the fun thing about hell is that it looks nothing like those biblical depictions we once thought it to be, or the gamifications uh, we thought it to be. It's right outside. <laughs> I told myself when I first made this channel, I want to talk about things that I just have an interest in, and I want to talk about content that just pertains to thought pieces, interpretive analysis of videos. That's just, that's just what I wanted to make. I never really wanted to be on the side of you know, strong political activism or uh, economist theory, even though that I allude to that sometimes in my videos. Hell, look at back the look at the Black Excellence one. You know, what I mean, I spend like the first so and so minutes talking about uh, the inception of capitalism. I am on a particular side, clearly, as you can ascertain by why I make this video. I'm on the side to where you don't make up lies about accidental airstrikes and you don't make up lies about oh we didn't mean to blow up this hospital or we didn't mean to blow up this camp or we didn't mean to blow up those tents like oh man well, who could have done this and i know i can't show things because of the platform i'm on and i can't even say things because the platform i'm on so Waving young Dulahans, that's the best way I can go and describe it, so I, uh, I don't get tracked down, right? Waving young Dulahans. If you know what a Dulahan is, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what a Dulahan is, just look it up. But that should not have been the point to where a switch triggered in a lot of people to where they thought, Oh, this is enough now. You know, this is, you know, you, you know this is the point where... We may need to call a ceasefire. No, this wasn't that point. That point started back in October. And it's just been a snowball effect. And what we're seeing out here in the world are celebrities, influencers, great, powerful, political, and business entities trying their best to provide damage control over the voice of the masses to where the whole world is saying stop and they're saying but think about the other side and that's a no as you can tell this is about what happened for the past weekend and i know that this isn't the type of content many of y'all expect from me and this is the type of content that hell many of y'all even care to hear my opinion on but this is the type of content i want to make and even though I don't have a hundred subs or a million subs, I don't care how many subs, I could have had a hundred subs, right? If I have a platform and if I have a voice and if I have an audience that even to a marginal degree feel inspired by my words, that is, I mean, even if I didn't have this, but the fact that I do, that's more than enough reason to speak on this. And it's more than enough reason to speak on to the fact that I am not interested in opposing opinions that aren't in support of I really don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not here for discussion. I'm not here for debate. I'm not here to hear other people's opinions. I don't care. And neither do the celebrities and your streamers and YouTubers that you give donations to. So they can say something stupid or funny. They don't care because it's not within their business interests. It doesn't matter what their humanitarian interests are because those humanitarian interests do not trump their business interests. Guess what? I don't have any business interests. And even if I did, I would not align myself to certain interests that would prevent me from saying such things. I'm a scripted writer. I hate to call myself this, but I'm a video essayist. So this isn't the type of avenue I go down towards. But like I said, I make interpretive analysis videos and I make things that I write with my soul. <laughs> no J. Cole, <laughs> no Grippy. <laughs> but this is something that affects me heavily you, know, you can only push it to the back of your mind for so long until it begins to creep up and this is something that i can no longer feel uh passive about and when i say passive i mean why just don't talk about it this bothers me and it bothers me in knowing that no one in the spaces in which it matters are really doing anything about it shout out kalani shout out macklemore shout out of those type of celebrities that will actively go out of their way to talk about why what's going on in the Middle East is a disgusting tragedy and how even those that aren't celebrities will openly state that this is not a war this is a genocide like this is hell 
this is unhinged evil you know what i mean i feel like any type of trust and any type of belief and faith you we would give on to our government and on to our um you know to the powers that be you can't look at them as saviors or those that will go ahead and clean up the mess that they created look i'm gonna keep it a stack with when i say this right leaders politicians government you can't expect protection from powerful bodies and entities that had no intention of protecting you in the first place you know what i mean your protection is not in their business interests if you don't believe me just look at where the money goes look at how much the u.s is aiding you know what i mean like let's look at the interest and i remember when the george floyd incident happened and the riots ensued and when i went to some protest i openly thought and said i was not really for peaceful protests or more so about their function because i was on the side of there is no such thing as a revolution if no one's willing to to die for it and i i have to acknowledge that i come from a very privileged place like how a majority of uh you guys come from a very privileged place you don't have to wake up and fear that a shell is about to hit our front doorstep and that's a raw gun you know what i mean done we don't have to live with that fear a majority of us don't have to so it's easy for us to say stuff like this won't work this won't work when we have that choice to care or not and they don't even have a choice to care at this point it's like they don't even have a choice to live but i'm making it my choice right now to tell all of y'all if you can do something do something even if it's just to donate if it's to protest even if it's just to talk about it even if it's to set up and i don't like it doesn't matter the form do something and i'm using my platform to tell those that are listening that i am proud of those that are in solidarity and i'm not above that and neither is your favorite celebrity or your favorite person it doesn't matter who it is but you can't tell me that they're above over 36,000 people that have died over the last several months due to this war. Oh, sorry, did I mean war? I mean cleansing. Because that's what, you know, I mean, you know, that's what this is. And it, that there comes a point where you can't keep on depending on the minority to clean up problems they created that only the majority feel. That doesn't make any sense to me. But what does make sense to me is how now it's facing the quote unquote global condemnation now because of what happened. So maybe this would be just a step that the minority powers will actually do something about this of actual worth and of actual merit. I know that's no easy fix and I know that this does not free them from their accountability and their inaction and action in support of Israel. But it seems that efforts are being taken with a much, uh, you know, stronger uh, force and stronger conviction. Uh, I'll be attending a couple protests within the coming weeks. And in the link of this video, the link of this video, in the bio of this video, the bio, the description, <laughs> description of this video, um, there's a GoFundMe link to support tents up in Gaza. They need, they need it now more than ever since what happened the past weekend. Uh, just donate how much how much bread you got, you know, a dollar, a pound, a euro, a rupee, a gold coin, it doesn't matter how much, just try and donate whatever you can. If you can't donate, just send the link out and let other people know about it, just any supporters, like, helpful. And don't worry, the next video, I'll be dropping the Jujutsu Kaisen one, we'll be back to regular schedule of programming. I don't say that to completely null and void this video, what's going on right now. But expect next video to be the Jujutsu Kaisen one. Anyway, those that made it to the end, thank you. You don't know the amount of love I got for you. Those that are supporting, I love y'all. Please stay safe out there and keep doing what you're doing. Right? I'm a holla at y'all. Back to the shower as I go.